Hello everybody, it's SOD Medhaven here today, and we're going to be taking a look at the Sinlac. This is a Tier 8 British light tank, and it was originally released with the WWE known as the Becky Lynch. Now, the Sinlac has surprised me a lot. Like, everything that this tank is capable of doing, that there's a lot to it. Now, I know that within game, we don't have a lot of uh, information inside game, so I did find a way to help bring it to you guys. So, the FV1066 Sinlac Premium Tank. It has a 50% silver bonus along with that. A couple of things that we're going to be going over compared to PC and console. So, on PC, the high explosives actually have 90 millimeters of armor pin with a 320 alpha. But here on console, the Sinlac has a special gun, which is actually a grenade launcher. That, once you swap over to the high explosive ammunition... You reload or drop down to a second, and you'll be able to get 80 damage off with every single high explosive round that you manage to penetrate with the 50 millimeters of penetration that the weapon has. Other than that, we have a standard pin of 189, a premium pin of 223, top speed of 65, along with that 400 meters of view range. And that 400 meters of view range helps out this tank in absolute crap load. Now, the still concealment, and this is something that within game, they tell us the meters that we have. And to me, the meters mean absolutely nothing. Because of a base 0.26, even with all the concealment perks, I have absolutely no clue what we can get it up to on console because of this. Still concealment, in my opinion, they need to change that. It almost feels like a lack of information because it's based off of the actual percentage. But 0.26 concealment is comparable to some medium tanks in the game. Along with that, 1,050 hit points. You have 50 more hit points than the T92. It's the um, Tier 8 Light Tank American. But trade-off is, you actually have a gun on here. So your standards are AP, your premiums are APCR. And 180, 180 for both damage types. High explosives, they're just fast. Along with that, 5.5 second base reload time. You're able to get this down to about 4 seconds. But I highly recommend to completely avoid the gun rammer. Because 0.4 of a second is totally not worth it. I would rather you guys run advanced concealment and stay hidden. Along with that, 1.8 second aim time. Absolutely insane aim time. You come to a stop and it's already aimed in. Along with that. 170 rounds of ammo capacity. Now, that's a lot of ammo. I actually did the math on this. It was a total of 30,000 damage that this tank is capable of dishing out with the amount of ammunition it has if you just fired nothing but standards. Along with that, you have 10 degrees of gun depression, 14 degrees of elevation, 0.38 accuracy overall. Now, in here, we don't have any hardcore statistics for rotating turret or movement, but... So far from what I know, I like to snapshot with this and lock on and just stay on the move. Now, armor, yeah, no point in going over that. Traverse speed of the turret, 46 degrees, base speed range, 400. You can get it up to 466, and I can't seem to get rid of the blue. All right, so engine power, 710, 35.15 horsepower per ton. Along with that, reverse speed, 23. That is great. Fire chances at 20%, so be careful with that. I have been set on fire way more than I wanted to inside this tank. Along with that, I've also put in 60 matches in the Sinlac in the past two days. Yeah, you guys can judge me all you want, but you know what? I'm bringing this to you, so you guys have an idea on it. And look, I found terrain resistance. There we go. So 45 degrees rotational speed. Um, soft, medium. No, wait a minute. I screwed up. Hard, medium, soft. Okay, that's it. Hard, medium, soft. All right. Hard, medium, soft soft so on soft terrain you're going to notice a big difference your traverse speed is going to drop from 45 to maybe let's say 33 at that 1.4 maybe even 28 but even then there's not much soft terrain right now with the map rotation we have so i'm not really too worried about it if you guys get this tank just know map rotation right now sucks but hey got a sin lack 6500 gold by the way for this tank no to totally not that pricey honestly compared to most so if you're looking to get your first tier 8 premium light tank, this is definitely one to do it with. Now, along with that, we're going to bring you back over here as I struggle to uh, try and make this look as good as we can make it. Now, yes, I just read everything off to you guys. Went over some little small things. My personal impression of this tank doesn't play like a light tank. 
Makes me feel like a lightly armored medium. So I've got two replays for you guys today. We got one on Proporovka and one on Kasserine. Kasserine. However you pronounce it, it's somewhere up there. I'm too tired to go try and pronunciate things. Now, along with that, if you take a look at the loading screen there, we had the tanks in the background. I don't know what's going on. Are you guys experiencing it? Because I know I am. Alrighty, so the Sinlac. As a scout. This thing is not a half bad scout. But the one thing that I really like about the Sinlac has got to be the lack of English today. Oh my gosh. I mean, honestly, we're, we're going to be sitting here for a minute. Got two replays for you guys. First one's not the most exciting, you know, Prokhorovka, however. This was one of the maps I was wanting to see super badly. And it's like I finally got onto it. And then the match I put into it, oh, yes. We all know how that goes. Whenever you guys get a light tank and you want to get a really good map, and you finally get it, you're able to get up, just go nuts. You love it. You know, that's just what it is. Category of tanks, very specific maps. But the thing is, the Sinlac, your gun, I believe it's an 83.4 millimeter gun. And just what it's capable of is through the absolute roof. Now, as I am struggling to do stuff today, because, you know, what is it, Saturday? Yeah, it's Saturday. The amount of brain farts going on. All right, so your standard shells, which are AP, so they readjust by five degrees on impact. Along with that, the 189 penetration that they have, not just do they have decent penetration, they also have 1,020 shell velocity. Your premium rounds inside this tank has got 223 armor pin and have 1,275 shell velocity. And the high explosives inside this on console Compared to PC, I don't know if we still have the 1020 or not. It would be cool if we did, but I honestly do not know. It's hard to tell because of the amount of lack of information we have here on console. Now, you guys probably saw me run up, knock over a couple trees, and trying to get everything set up and ready to go. Now, Prokhorovka, whenever you're playing a light tank, you know, I always like to say... Lights are extremely important on the right side. They are. But whenever I looked at this game, I realized I was the only light tank on my team. The enemy light tank got taken out extremely early inside the game. Nowhere near us on the completely opposite end of the map. And so far, we're up to 1,059 assists, which we just barely watched that skyrocket up to 1,000. We've only had one penetrating shot go through, but our job is not to deal damage right now. Our job is to stay on the move, stay focused around us, and try to keep everything off in the distance spotted because of how many teammates we have behind us. We have two tank destroyers, a heavy tank, a medium, and possibly another medium. And looks, yeah, we got about five tanks. No, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got six guys behind us. Which means we have a lot of assists. It's all about working with the team. And right here I was thinking, oh no, a border of the map's coming up. Uh oh, that's a problem. So far though, the Sinlac, you know, it, its concealment's not as high as other light tanks. But the one thing that I have noticed about the Sinlac is just the gun. The view range and the gun. You know, if you're tagging along and you're platooning up with a couple of buddies... Your, your friends can basically sacrifice view range if they're teamed up with this tank. Now, I've been playing with a couple of newer players to the game. They've gotten a couple of tier 8 premiums. I've also gotten them a few as, as well as myself, just to help them out. And during the time, I was screwing around inside the Sinlac because I, I went ahead and said, screw it, I'm just going to buy this tank and I'm going to give it a run. But so far, the past two days that I've had it, I have enjoyed it every single time that I've played it. Don't get me wrong, there's some matches that I have that I just, you know, you, you get in, you die. Oh my, they need to fix that wing. Okay, everybody, jump on the forums and complain about that. That thing's too powerful. It <laughs> brought us to a dead stop. I, I've actually watched two players so far in the past couple of weeks that this map has been out actually fall through the map and die instantly because of that plane. Don't know how they pulled it off, but they somehow did it. 
If you guys have witnessed that, let me know down in the comments. Seriously, it, it's it's kind of funny. But all right, so far this match, we're up to 3,982 assist, 973 dealt. So, you know, just a standard play on Prokhorovka instead of a light tank. Playing the light tank as well as we can. You know, you should be seeing light tanks perform like this on Prokhorovka. No, but there's moments that, yes, people will rush in and they're not paying too much attention. And they'll go out and they'll get themselves killed and make a couple mistakes. But, you know, that's bound to happen. Even, even to the best of the players out there, they make mistakes. There are times that, yes, we will go out and make a mistake. I have. I've done it multiple times. And, oh, nope. We can't, we can't kill him. We shot the dead tank. Well, th there's not a lot to say about the Senlek. I, I really don't know what to say about this tank. Except for whenever they brought it over to console, they thought it would be a great idea to swap around the uh, ammunition. And rather than giving us the 90 millimeter high explosive pin they gave us a little grenade launcher instead and increased the ammo capacity by like 300 percent which i mean don't get me wrong it's a pretty cool mechanic that we have that little grenade launcher against artillery it is your best friend and it helps out a crap load you know you put in your standard shell for the 180 damage that you can get off swap your rounds over to let's say the high explosives and suddenly you put a 180, you put another 80, you put a 70, you put another 80, and artillery is out of the match. In this match, we had a scout medal, which requires you to spot at least nine enemy vehicles. Period. For a moment there, I was like, oh, I gotta go back and check that out. How many did I spot? Yeah. We spotted out, I believe it was 14. It was 11. I did have a match earlier, earlier today that I spotted out 14. Almost the entire team. Well, up next, Kasserine. Kasserine. Yeah, don't don't quote me on that. I give up. So, the second match here. Th this map, uh, I find light tanks can perform good. And at the same time, it's a very hard map to perform good. But, I made a friend. I made a friend today. And it was fun. The Sinlac, also, I would say, is a really good tank overall for just trying to get up your, your stats. Because for whatever reason, this is a light tank with a medium gun. The penetration values, the movement speeds, being able to rush into a position, have a decent fire rate. You can really assist your team with this tank. The Sinlac is an overperformer right now instead of tier 8, which I was not aware of on how strong this tank was until I got it and decided to play it. Originally, I put a few matches inside the Becky Lynch, which is the other variation of this tank, but I thought to myself, I want to get the regular version just because I'm not a big fan of skins that I can't remove. So I did. I went up, bought the regular unskinned Sinlac, and since I did that and I can actually put my own little camos on it, my own little designs and emblems and flags and have it look the way I want it to look, I've been enjoying it a lot and highly recommend if you guys get the chance, go out and get it. And hey, look, it's our little friend. So, you know, two, two light tanks in a team can be very devastating. And here I am just screwing around like I always do. Started to realize now we're detecting people. I look at him. I'm saying, follow me. Let's go take down the light tank. There are two of us. So now... We're dead on the move. I'm looking at the map and I see he's right behind me and I know we're going to be able to get in there and take down this tiger shark. Now, some of us are probably going to take a couple of hits, lose a little bit of health, but it is what it is. If we can take out their eyes on this side of the map, we're going to have the biggest advantage in the game. And look at that. Two shells missed. And shell number three flying out behind us. And look at that driving. Honestly, I was a little surprised that I... Uh, didn't hit the wall. Now, he's trying to come in for the ram, but the thing is, he doesn't know how much the Sinlac weighs. The Sinlac is actually a pretty heavy light tank. You can actually go in, ram a couple of guys, and deal more than what they will deal to you inside this tank. 
making another call out to the M41 Bulldog, saying, hey, come tag along, you know, we're gonna head back up. No, because I have the eyes, I have a good gun behind me. You know, the M41 Bulldog, it's not a bad tank either. So honestly, you know, these two tanks teamed up, he's probably capable of going 70 kilometers, I'm capable of going 65, and if he lets me take the lead, guess what? We're gonna be able to circle tanks all day long. And speaking of circling, Panther 88, Waffle Panzer 4. This is kind of looking a little bit bad. You know, there's not much spotting going on inside this match. It's 11 to 12. Oh, 10 to 12 now. Slowly getting picked off, little by little. And there's no view range anywhere. There's mediums all the way over on the right side, which is probably going to be outspotting a lot of the tanks over here. So, you know, I, I, I told... Uh, crippled let's go so I said follow me and he said affirmative and here we are now we're just gonna go cruising pulling out to the middle trying to get some view range down there to help out the team as much as we can putting a snapshot into the M48 Patton for a nice little juicy 170 180 didn't see the number popped up though and keeping track around you this is something inside light tanks you got to learn how to do extremely well you know, it's like situational awareness is going to be your best friend inside mediums, light tanks, whenever you're playing aggressive. And I, I don't know who shell I blocked, but I'm sorry that I blocked it if you ever watch this in the future. Seriously, I believe it was the Bulldog. So sorry, man. Because after his shell was blocked, he was taken out of the match. So now it's just me left. I'm up in the front. Panther 88 and an Atomic. Now, as I'm looking around, I see we don't have a lot of tanks on this side. You know, and if I fall back, these guys are just going to come up and put the tanks in the middle in a pincer. Not just that, they're going to have gun depression and the hills to work with. I know that the Atomic has 10 degrees. The Panther 88 probably has 7 or 8 degrees of gun depression. So I was just like, you know what? It's 8 to 9. It's a very close game. If I do not try my best against these guys, it's going to be a bad match. And right there, you know, I was just a little bit too slow to get out of the way. But honestly, look at these potatoes. Where are they aiming? I don't even know where they're aiming. I'm so sorry that I'm calling them potatoes, but you know, that's... Uh, what, Muppets? But it, it is what it is. You know, it's like, I'm a light tank. I'm going to go spin in circles. And if these guys don't want to lead their shots against light tanks, then they're going to learn the hard way. The Atomic finally got some brain, leading the shell a little bit, but he aimed a little bit too low, so he hit the tracks. And right here, we have a tier 9 popping up autoloader. That's the one on the way to the T-57. Can't remember the name of it right now. It's completely out of the head. It's long gone, right out the window. Just out of there. So far, it's a 5 to 6. This is looking like a really close game. We're already up to 2,920 damage, 485 assist. Now, this is the Senlac in its own playground. This is the way I like to play this tank. Highly aggressive, being able to get to positions fast, hold them down, and if you teamed up with a couple of guys, guess what? You should be performing through the roof inside this tank. And look, we found the artillery. And are we going to have a great example? Oh, and look at this. I'm loading in the HEs, and I was unable to fire them because the 416 went ahead and killed them. But you know, that is not a kill still. He made sure the artillery was taken out of the game while I was on a reload. Kill stilling to me doesn't exist. If you guys take my kills, I, I don't say a thing about it. I'm just like, thank you. That is a gun out of the fight and you saved me from taking a thousand, three hundred, or however much damage his gun would have done. And that is the way I look at it every single time. So far, four to five. This match is super close. T95 down low. I'm thinking to myself, should I drop down? But then I see the T-54 up in the top left there, our Tier 9 American Autoloader. And I'm just like, you know, there, there's no point to have too many guns focus firing down there. I'd rather go try and spot out and see if anybody is over here in the very far right. But as I'm looking, I see a T-34-2 along with that. I know that the other medium tank is a T-54. Then we have the Nomad up top. So my best bet is to try and provide as much assistance as I can. And with the knowledge of the maps and everywhere to go, we're going to be pulling up, putting a single shot into the 53 TP, the Tier 8 Polish. Another fantastic tank, if you guys uh, 
Haven't played that. Honestly, a lot of tanks inside this game. There's no bad tank. Every single tank in this game can be good as long as you use it correctly. Sinlac, 159 into the rear of the Nomad. The Soma SM. The most expensive premium in this game. 15,000 or 12,000 for the unskinned variant. Don't buy it. 45 second reload. Ugh. Alrighty, well, the Nomad was taken out of the match. We still had the 53 TP, the T34 2, and a T54, and an artillery to deal with. Now, the T34, it looks like he's trying to go back down the hill. I'm thinking to myself, I should, should I help out the 416 to take on the T54 and the 53 TP? And then thinking about it, I'd rather get a gun out of the match as quick as I can. The 416 is off in the distance. If he needs to fall back, he can fall back. Along with that, we do have the T-54E2 up to our top left, which can provide auto loader support. And right there, easy, smooth snapshot into the T-34-2, up to 3,874 damage. And still, our spot assist is sitting at 485. Spot assist has not been moving a lot this entire match. Now, the match has been very close this entire time. It's a three to three situation. Along with that, they have an artillery, and we all know how artillery works. If the shells land correctly, it'll one-hit somebody. And the health that everyone in my team is on, we don't want to exactly get hit by artillery. So I decided to try and go be a little arty hunter myself to try and take him down. Now, right here, artillery's coming up, you know. <laughs> Look at the 416 just sitting there like, I don't know what I'm doing. Now, thinking about it, I know that the 53 TP is going to be coming up to try and take on the T-54E2. And I thought to myself, maybe the T-54E2 is loaded right now. You know, maybe he can clip out the 53 TP. And that's right here what I looked at, the 880 health. And then I know that the T-54E2 has got enough damage inside of its clip to be able to take him out. That's why I'm watching both. I'm making up my mind which way I want to go. And then I see the T-54 in full health. And immediately, the second I saw that the T-54 was on full health, he became primary target. And sadly, our T-54E2 has been taken out of the game. And right there, the 416 is also out of the game. And now it is down to me in a two versus one situation. So far, 4,574 damage dealt, 485 assist. That assist has not changed. As I said, play with the team, stay close, stay on the move. You stop in this tank, you die in the tank. <laughs> Light tank motto, you stop, you die, you move, you live. Uh, unless you're using foliage and making nests, hitting trees. Yes, of course, that's what you need to do. Trying to get a little bit of a snapshot in between the buildings there. It didn't exactly make contact. And after this match is done and over, I'm going to be showing you guys my crew skills that I am running on the Senlac. That way, if you do want to get this tank and you want to set it up the same way that I got it, be my guest. I'm not really focusing on any accuracy bonuses whatsoever. I have one perk, which is just steady aim, and that's it. Now, right here, I know that the T-54, he's not fully upgraded which means his view range is not exactly the greatest. Now, locking on to him, taking a look here, we see he's at 367 meters away. And knowing that we're running some concealment perks along with muffled shot, at this distance, he will not be able to spot us out unless he is running a fully upgraded turret and a full-on spot crew. So, we brought him from 800 hit points down to 463 left, which means he is now a three shot for us which is going to take us about 12 seconds to 13 seconds to finish him off with consecutive shots. Now, the 53 TP, the last time we saw him, he had 800 hit points. We, I don't know if he's still at 800 hit points or not at this moment in time. But the T-54 fell back through right here, so we're just going to take the same path the T-54 did. Because most of the time you think, you know, he's probably going to try and flank around. He's not going to come where I just came from. And, ooh, look at that, 152, really good snapshot. The second he was spotted and we pulled out to hit him. And second shell for 192. Okay, so 
795 is what the 53 TP is on. 129 is what the uh, T54 is on now. Oop, oh, nope, ricochet. And trying to guarantee the penetration here, and nope, we bounced. Because we went a little bit too far down the slope, and auto aiming is not the greatest. Now, right here, down the 15 seconds on the base. Oh, look at that, 192 high roll straight into the top plate. Premium APCR, 223 print. Pen. Ooh. English today. Now, driving in a straight line inside of a light tank, you never want to drive in a straight line towards the enemy or in a straight line away from the enemy. Doing that with an RB or R1 lock, it's basically a guaranteed hit every single time. You know, bob and weave and count to 10. Knowing that the, the 53 TP has got about a 10 second reload, and then counting the 10, knowing when to bob and weave is going to really help you out. Right here, I unlock my gun and I aim directly into the rear to guarantee the final penetration. Whew, I don't know about you guys, but by the time this match was done and over with, my heart was pounding like absolutely no other. And a profit of 72,000 silver, six kills for a top gun medal along with that a mastery badge high caliber we also had a defender medal for 6172 now for the last thing let's go over the perks here so we're running six cents along with that rapid loading born leader steady aim green thumb situational awareness muffled shot mark target and track mechanic the Sin Lac. How would I rate this tank? A 1 out of 10. As a light, I would rate it an 8. This tank, even though it's considered a light tank, has got the same concealment ratings as a lot of medium tanks inside this game. But that doesn't mean it's a bad tank. The fact that you have got such a great gun on the Sin Lac, it's got really good top movement speed, the tank all around is very solid. You can't take a hit worth crap. You've, you've got low hit points at 1,050. But you know what? It makes up for that with the speed and the penetration of the gun with the 180 alpha. You're going to be able to put two to three shots inside of tanks that can only get one shot in the U. So you know what? Sinlac, it is a great performer. And if you guys don't have it, it would make a really good part of your collection. Um, if you guys like the... Re the video leave a like comment subscribe if there's conversation potential i will try my best to get out there and you know have a conversation with you guys and i'm sorry that my english today was so far off but you know what we tried we did try and yeah you know i think we might do a couple more like this two replays at a time going over tanks just little by little find one that i'm really enjoying at the time and let you guys know about it until next time i'm out of here see you on the battlefield